Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over apply to learning question number two from the moles and molar mass unit. Question number two asks, how many moles are there in an 8.3 kilogram sample of C3H6O? Since we're given the mass of C3H6O and we're asked for the moles, we can use the molar mass to convert from mass to moles. The molar mass is found by adding up the mass of each individual component to find how much the entire compound will have. So since our components are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, we'll need to know the molar masses of each of these individual elements to find the molar mass of C3H6O. So looking from the periodic table, the molar mass of carbon is written to be 12.011 grams per mole. Hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. And oxygen is 15.99 grams per mole. And I'll highlight these. Oops. To make them more visible. So to find the molar mass of C3H6O, we'll take three times the mass of carbon, since we have three carbons, plus six times the molar mass of hydrogen, since we have six hydrogens, plus one times the molar mass of oxygen. And when we do the math here, we end up finding that the molar mass of C3H6O is 58.071 grams per mole. Now that we have this value, we can relate our mass to moles. We start out with an 8.3 kilogram sample of C3H6O. And since we want to get it to grams, we'll first have to do some dimensional analysis. So we know that there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. Then once we have grams, we can multiply by our molar mass to see how many moles we have. Or I'm sorry, divide by our molar mass. So one mole of C3H6O is equivalent to 58.071 grams. So when we multiply across and then divide by the molar mass, we find that there are 140 moles of C3H6O. Oh. 